Hello everyone, Paul Scholes has given a brutal verdict on manager Eric Ten Hag's future at Old Trafford under the new Ineos ownership. He said that, what we're seeing is a million miles away from a team that should be challenging for the league. Every single season it's just so far away. I think they, Ineos have already made their mind up, I don't think he will be there next season, no. From the interviews we've heard with Sir Jim Ratcliffe, I thought there was a little bit of negativity towards the club the last 10 or 11 years and especially the last 2 years. I don't think he's happy with what's going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they're looking for a new manager now. I'm not saying it's the right decision. Meanwhile, Manchester United need to mirror rivals Manchester City if they are to taste success once more, according to Casemiro. He said that, that is the big objective, to get to where City are. We also have to be humble to accept that they are at the moment, not in history, as the history of Manchester United speaks for itself. But they are today, the team to beat. Everyone wants to beat City. We have a mirror here, which is City, and they have been doing a great job. So, despite the clear disparity between Manchester United and Manchester City, Casemiro claimed his team was comfortable for some of Sunday's derby, before the game got away from them. Casemiro keeps saying that, We started well. We know that City like to have control of the game, but we were always comfortable. Of course, when they press you, they always create opportunities, but we also had some opportunities to make counterattacks. It ended up that we went back to the second half, and conceded the goal very early. On the other side, Fiorentina are readying themselves for Sofian Amrabat's summer return, after spending this season on loan at Manchester United. Sunsport revealed in December, that United were not planning to sign Amrabat on a permanent deal, following Kabi Menu's emergence. According to Football Italia, the midfielder's latest gaffe against Manchester City, that led to Rodri setting Erling Haaland up for the third goal, could make the Red Devils even less likely to trigger the option to buy. The Morocco international has started just seven of United's 27 Premier League matches so far, this term, coming off the bench in a further six. In additional, Sofian Amrabat will have one year left on his Fiorentina contract after his loan deal with Manchester United ends in June. The Viola will have a decision to make regarding whether to sell Amrabat elsewhere at a reduced value, or to reintegrate him, and potentially try to extend his deal. According to transfer insider Fabrizio Romano, Juventus were interested in signing the midfielder in January. Again, and again. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is reportedly keeping tabs on Girona star Miguel Gutierrez ahead of the summer transfer window. Gutierrez, 22, has stood out this season in La Liga, and has played a critical role in the club's shock title bid. That has put the likes of Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Barcelona on notice. But, according to Mundo Deportivo, the left-back's impressive displays have also made him one of Ten Hag's priority targets. Sunsport reported that the Dutch tactician sent a scout to closely observe the youngster in January. And it isn't the first time United have eyed the ex-Spain youth international, as former manager Jose Mourinho also tried to land him in 2017 when he was in charge. Mourinho was keen to sign Gutierrez at the age of 16, when he was still rising through the ranks at Madrid where he ultimately stayed. The defender finally left the Bernabeu for Girona in 2022. But Los Blancos could still stand in the way of the Red Devils, as they retain 50% of his rights, and a buyback clause. In fact, the Madrid Giants can re-sign the fullback for a mere $7 million if they wish. However, it seems like manager Carlo Ancelotti has turned his sights on Bayern Munich star, Alfonso Davies instead. And United would have to cough up a fee in the region of 30 millions for the Spaniard. The Manchester Giants have been plagued by injury at left-back throughout the entire season. Ten Hag's troubles hit boiling point when Luke Shaw suffered a recurrence of a leg injury that could sideline him for the rest of the season. In fact, Shaw's most recent setback could even cost him a place in Gareth Southgate's England squad for Euro 2024. Tyrell Malaysia, who was Ten Hag's first ever signing since taking over at United in 2022, hasn't featured all season after sustaining a knee injury. Gutierrez on the other hand, has flourished this term, as he has amassed one goal and six assists in 30 appearances across all competitions. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag reached 100 games in charge of Manchester United on Sunday. The Dutchman achieved a top three Premier League finish and Carabao Cup success with the club last season. However, this season things have not gone to plan anywhere near as well including his milestone of games at the helm of the Red Devils, which was soiled by Manchester City's 3-1 win over them on Sunday. Sunsport have crunched the numbers to compare Ten Hag to the other bosses to hit the century at Old Trafford, 
again and again. Manchester United have a welcome midweek off while contending with a number of injury worries. Both Marcus Rashford and Johnny Evans battled through issues before coming off in the Derby defeat to Manchester City on Sunday. Despite their absence from the pitch, both Rasmus Hodgland and Lissandro Martinez were on the team bus at the Etihad Stadium to briefly raise hopes that they were surprise inclusions in the lineup. But they join Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and more in returning to the treatment room ahead of Saturday's clash with Everton. Here is your latest update of Man United injury news and return dates. First one is Marcus Rashford. Rashford was spotted struggling with an injury of some kind during the first half of the derby, before coming off with 20 minutes left. It has been confirmed by United that he did suffer a problem, but the exact nature of it is yet to be revealed, making him a doubt to face Everton. Manager Eric Ten Hag said post-match, he had his problems with an injury, so he fought for 70 minutes, but then I had to take him off. He added to Sky Sports. We had two players on the pitch, they were not 100% in Johnny Evans and Marcus Rashford, and they gave everything, as the whole team gave everything. I don't know if they will miss games, I can't tell you. Finally they had to come off, but I would have preferred to keep them on, as I think the organization was very good. His potential return date is unknown. Second one is Rasmus Hojland. United fans had to do a double take when Hojland appeared in the tunnel at the Etihad, as the team arrived for Sunday's game. However, the Dane's appearance was for moral support for his teammates, as opposed to his surprise recovery from injury. Hoyland is only a week into his comeback from a muscle injury, which was initially set to take between two weeks and a month to overcome. Therefore, he might be back in time to face Everton. His potential return date, March 2024. Third one, Johnny Evans. Ten Hag had to reshuffle his defense against City with Evans unable to continue after an hour. Willy Kambwala came on and slotted in at right back, and post-match Ten Hag confirmed the unspecified issue for his veteran defender. The manager stated, He fought to be in this game, but after I think 60-65 minutes it was over, and we had to take him off. His potential return date is unknown. Next one is Lisandro Martinez. Martinez is now at the halfway point of the eight-week time frame he was ruled out for, after picking up a knee injury in the win over West Ham. The Argentine also offered his support to teammates at the Etihad, as he targets a return following this month's upcoming international break. His potential return date is, April 2024. Next one is Harry Maguire. United have missed Maguire for their last two games but little else is known about his injury absence. The club simply defined him as unavailable before the Nottingham Forest FA Cup win, and he was missed once again on Sunday. His potential return date is unknown. Next one is Luke Shaw. Shaw is in a race to be fit for Euro 2024 after suffering a muscle injury last month. The chances of seeing him again in a United shirt this season are slim after the club stated. Further assessment is still required to determine the severity, but we expect him to be absent for a few months. Potential return date. Summer 2024. Next one is Aaron Wan-Bissaka. United fans have not seen Wan-Bissaka in action since the middle of January. Ten Hag most recently provided an update on the fullback's fitness last month, stating he was still a few weeks away from contention. His potential return date is March-April 2024. Next one is Anthony Martial. Marshall was ruled out for 10 weeks with a groin injury at the end of January, which required surgery. That points to a return in April, meaning he could still get a run of games to earn a new contract at Old Trafford. Potential return date. April 6, versus Liverpool. Next one is Mason Mount. Mount last started a Premier League game on October 7, and has since been sidelined with a calf problem. There is still no official word on when he may finally be fit, after one or two premature reports indicating an imminent return to action. His potential return date. Unknown. Last one, is Tyrell Malaysia. An update on Malaysia in December pointed towards a return to the pitch, early next year. Yet he remains absent, as he has all season. A setback in his recovery from a knee injury means he is not yet thought to be near a first outing of the campaign. His potential return date is unknown, 